All right, what's going on everyone? Um, welcome back to the next video in the series. And in this video, we're going to be making cards for all of our jobs. And um, we're gonna be making individual components for those and passing our jobs down from our container into those components. All right, so let's get started. So uh, let's open up our sidebar, let's close our server. We can just uh, delete that console.log. All right, and um, let's create a new folder. Let's close our error, let's load our components. Let's create a new folder in our components folder called jobs. All right, and then create another folder called job list. And this jobs folder will just hold our components that uh, pertain to our job container. All right, so job list. Create another folder called job card. Okay. And our job list, let's say index.js. R-A-F-C-E, oops, let's say job list. Okay, let's say H1 job list. Okay. All right, so what we want to do is we want to make sure we have our jobs. Um, so we, we have our jobs. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's go ahead and slap that in here. Add our curly brackets around it. I think we're missing a parentheses. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass our jobs in. So we're gonna destructure that. We haven't passed it in yet. All right, and here. All right, we're gonna say jobs, job list. All right, that auto imported. And then we're gonna say job equals so data dot jobs. All right. And then we need to give it a key. Actually, no, we don't need to give it a key now because we didn't map to anything yet. All right. So our job list. Okay, so let's just cons let's console that log our jobs and see what we get. We're getting undefined. I think I passed it wrong. Is our server still up? We didn't name it right, jobs, there we go. All right, let's go back to our job list and there are jobs, okay. All right, so we're gonna map through our jobs. There we go. Uh, let's add an H1 that says jobs. Then let's add an H2 that says showing Let's say jobs dot length. Jobs. Showing 50 jobs at the moment. All right. All right, and then let's, uh, let's add our styled components. 
Actually, let's create our job card. So create a new file, index.js inside of our job card. RAFCE job card. And then each card, we're going to pass a job. Go in this destructure and get our job dot title. Okay. All right. So let's pass our job card. import that all right let's give it a key we'll give it the job ID and then the job equals job it's gonna look the same but it's passing them through the cards now okay let's add some styling to this now so cons container equals styled dot div control space let's import that style components okay we added a padding let's add a max width of 1200 pixels because we want don't want it to stretch the the width of the screen margin auto let's go ahead and add our container and then we need to create a card wrapper so and the way I move these is I press and hold option and just press the down arrow if you guys didn't know. Shift option down to copy or to duplicate. say margin 50 pixels 0 100 pixels we're going to give it a display of grid we're going to set our grid template columns to repeat auto fill and then we're going to give it a min max of 300 pixels one fr okay let's give it a grid gap of 60 pixels and let's give it a row gap of 30 pixels Justify items, well, justify them center. Perfect. I think in our container, let's delete that. There we go. All right, so that's it for our job list. Let's go ahead and start working on our job uh, card. We can close that, close that. All right, our job card. All right, so let's import styled from styled components. 
All right, we need to import our placeholder image. Assets, oops. All right, let's restart. Go back a folder, go back a folder, back a folder, assets, and place folder dash PNG. Image.png. All right, we're going to. We haven't set up our React router yet, but let's go ahead and start adding that um, functionality. So let's import our link from our React router DOM. Let's import moment from moment. Okay. All right, and now let's start destructuring our job card. So we need our ID, we need our company title, location, created app, and our type. All right. We got our title. Um, yeah, let's import our images, not import, but add our images in. So we want to use our company dot logo underscore URL, which Yep, company logo URL. And if that is null, because remember we made it non nullable, um, we made it non nullable when we we're uh, creating our query uh, in our server and creating the structure of our query. Uh, we wanted to have the placeholder image. So if it's null, it's going to default to our placeholder image. All right. And then the alt will be the company dot name. Let's see if it shows. Yep. Okay. Let's add an H2. Um, location. Let's give it a class name. Let's add an H3 with the type. No, this all looks jumbled now, but we'll get an order. So let's add a paragraph tag. And then we're going to be using our moment function. Let's close that. We're going to be passing in a created at. All right, and then um, what moment requires is the structure of the created at. So um, we have to put uh, put that structure out, and I've already done that for you guys. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that in. All right, and then we say dot start of we'll say second all right and then from now yep so three hours ago 
Okay. And then we need a button. Um, it's going to be a link. Let's add our button in. It's going to say view job to equals slash job slash and we're going to pass our ID in. And we can't use a link yet because we do not have our router set up yet. container equals styled dot div let's set a background of white a border radius of 0.5 rems and a width of 100% Add our container in. Start dealing with our H1 tags. Let's set a margin 0.7 rems. font size of 1.1 rims um, the rest of the styles just so we can breeze through this I'm just gonna copy and paste them in you can go ahead and pause and type them in so we have our h2 tag we have our h3 tag All right, we want to deal with our location and our paragraph, which that's the location and the, and the date. All right, let's go ahead. We need to create an image. All right, and then we gotta pass that to our image. And that, we should set the max width to 80%. Um, the max height of 70 pixels so that they're the right uh, ratio. And then we just set a border radius on all of them. All right, and these are our default images. Um, the only thing we need to do is add a padding to this uh, and style our button. So for our button, we can add that to the container. All right. And then we need to add a wrapper. So let's add that wrapper in. All right, there we go. That's it for the cards and our job list. All right, so uh, that's it for this video. On the next video, we are going to set up our React router and hook this link up, and uh, we'll create a job page really quick. All right, see you guys in the next one.